I am back and with some more State Decay 2 and with another episode for The Whisperers. We're on episode 31 um, and continuing on as always. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I last played but um, but yeah we're going to continue on. Like I've really enjoyed coming back to State Decay. Um, it's been a bit rocky with the crashing but it's, it's not that bad really. Um, well, the last two episodes were pretty good. We got a brand new recruit or two I think we got one Hayden was the highlight where we pushed him to um, do an initiation uh, where he killed a play cart and then he um, killed a hostile enclave well not a hostile but yeah an enclave um, which led to us well we want to try and recruit the person from that Location, but it's kind of been a bit of a struggle. Um, kind of waiting for it to like say, "Oh shit, I need some help." Um, and then we've got um, Hayden. We're trying to work on him a little bit to make him like the best. I've, I've got promise for Hayden. I think he's going to be a good recruit. Um, uh, Cause really, we ain't had like a highlight whisperer character. Like someone who actually wanted to join and yeah, just has that vibe about him. Even though there's no vibe to any characters in these games really, besides what you make of them. Which is kind of cool in a way, like you make your characters in a way, what they want to be. I'm sure the game kind of restricts you in certain elements of what they can actually do, but... Yeah, this is Hayden, okay, kind of... Before the outbreak, I wrote the greatest song of all time. Been trying to find those lyrics ever since. A song like that would be great for morale around here. I hope you can find them. I mean, being proper... We've kitted him out to be proper whisper light now. So, yeah. Um... Shall we just do this self of a mission? Why not? I might want to think about getting on that. Let's see what we got. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're still we've got the city cleared, so I need to each episode we try and loot it up a little bit, do bits here and there to deal with it. Um, okay, I guess we got a bit of a road trip ahead of us. Why not? Um, I'd say let's take some help, but could do, I suppose. Yeah, we're we'll loading more fit. Guess we could take the van and go bit of looting up there. Yeah, why not? I'll take the van. It's got fuel in. I know it's kind of cheating, but it's there. I would say some followers would have been good, but no. Yeah, I commit. Start this episode with a bit of a road trip. Why not? Actually. Gotta avoid this area, ain't we? Um, unless I quickly drive past it, but I don't know. I don't want to risk crashing already. Let's just drive around. Avoid it if we can. Just to go over the fields. Probably made the trip a bit quicker. Fuck you. Because, yeah, actually, last episode we didn't even have a crash. Because, uh, apparently, if you avoid this area where this warehouse is, you actually should be good for crashes. But it's something to do with that warehouse, is what causes it, but, yeah. Which is a problem, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. 
shouldn't have to avoid an area to avoid crashing. Like that just shows that it's something, something connected to the whole game. That's the issue. It's not like a systems issue. Especially when it's consistent as well. Until I crash somewhere else, which I had, the, I have had crashes at other places. I've, I've had crashes here before, I think. But, yeah, it's not good. Like development-wise, this game, this map has definitely got some big issues, and it's not been addressed at all. They might have said it in streams, but I, I, I can't remember. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. I need help! Anybody! Oh. I'm coming to get you! How about that? Can't let that one up. Wow. B. Fuck off. Press B to dodge and the game is stuck in our animation loop. What are you doing? Help me. The zombie's about. I'm killing you, dumb bitch. That's why. My bullets from a pistol, not my rifle. Fucking ditching me. Who you think you are? That's what they're doing over there. Hey neighbor, Tressie here. I've got a new plan, and I need your support to make it work. Anyone available for a little field trip? We should go. It's not safe. <laughs> in this place first. Maybe someone would want this. That's the thing, you start like um, attacking. But if you spam the buttons on the game, the game will screw you over by like if you want to dodge, the game is too prioritizing the attacks over the dodge. Which I don't think is a good idea. Dodge should cancel out any attack. The odds are they've done it on purpose so that you do get attacked, if anything. Really? Oh, 
I'm not going back unless we go looting first. Um, I'll go check out this. Want to search out that place? Yeah, it's a plan. Ah. Name's been shocking. Chemicals. I do need like circuitry for C4. Um. Really, I need to. Anyone over there who can help us? We Why is he problem. coming over here? Fuck off. It's bullshit. <laughs> Nothing moving about. Brilliant. I don't think we're going to find anything else here. That f yeah, there is a uh, right down there. Could you let me catch up? Fuck are you? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? F Not even fighting. What is this game today? Slurring zombies. I'm fucking. It's all for a fucking song. It's pointless. Hippie bollocks. You better not join my group. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Be nice if there was an in-game clock, just to kind of give you a time of how long you gotta wait. 
Got two time runs out. How big is this place? Mm. Yeah, we'll save it. Yes, I don't want to completely waste locations. Like, ideally, I want to go for the houses first and then, like, resource centric locations. This would be good. I don't know why they turn around like that for. Wow, nine slots. We might actually find something good in here. Hello to all the citizens of Trumbull Valley. This is Lily Ritter with the network. I'm reaching out because I'm worried about my friend Ray Santos. He hasn't been answering his radio, and I'm getting a little worried. I'm sure it's nothing, but I'd appreciate it if someone could check and make sure everything is okay. Not my problem. <laughs> We'll see. Let's see what we want to do. Found something. No room for that. That's what she said. Stop it. Stop it. An immature child. I'm a little full at the moment. You say it again. I don't want to. Bit of blue for the dads. You guys are gonna love the crap I just dropped off. That was the last one. Bit of blue for the dads. Bit of blue. We still have some creepers here. Uh, but yeah, I've been watching Walking Dead. I got through uh, the second part to Fear the Walking Dead season 11, where That's Madison's back and stuff. And no I think I'm that. wrong. Um, in the past, where I heard the rumors of Alicia being died, um, she walks off in the end. Like It's weird. Like She... Looks like she's about to die and change and turn. Um, but then she wakes up and she's all fine again. She's okay. And she walks off. Uh, God knows to do what. So I assume if they want to, they can have a reunion then. With Madison and uh, Alicia at some point. But... Um, I don't know what I don't know what the plan is for the series, uh, but Madison's back. She's been taking kids for Padre and stuff like that. Um, but it's, it's it's weird. I, I've always wanted to come back I'm in a, a way, full but at the a part of me is very like I don't know. I just should, it's another character in The Walking Dead who probably should have died. But somehow got out of a near death experience. Um, I think I'm done searching here. Like so many of the characters in the game now, well, in the show, have so much plot armor. And I think I it's like Madison's different in a way because people wanted people. her to come back because of, well, really because of the situation that they were put in. What with Fear the Walking Dead, where they kept killing off like the original family, and they, I know, I think people wanted more of a Walking Dead thing where like they were the characters with the plot armor, everyone else around them had nothing, I guess. But um, I don't know what to do with this. Um, so can I trade with you? Yes. Let's see what we have here. All right. Uh. Okay, 
Let's see what you've got. Of course. Means I don't need the influence at all, though. That's the problem. Is that it? Maybe not. There's some more to that. Okay, I guess we'll head back then. Um, but yeah, I started to watch um, Tales of the Walking Dead. That's what's on on what I'm on now. Um, it's a bit comedic. Like the first two episodes I've seen, the one with Terry Crews, and then it's like a Groundhog's Day scenario where they kept dying and then coming back and like reliving the moment again and changing it. Which was very weird, because it's like, it's a load of bullshit really, isn't it? Two people experiencing the same dream, which led to them surviving somehow, like, it's a bit weird. Like, it's kind of interesting, though. it is somewhat cool, something different, but, yeah. I don't know, it's a bit sci-fi, for the, even for the Walking Dead standards. Fuck off. Um, but, um, yeah, the next one I've got is like, uh, Alpha, which has got like a episode, which is kind of, kind of looking forward to, because it's more whisperous stuff, because uh, I completely forgot about that, she came back for an episode, um, uh, and I keep seeing clips on um, Fear on uh, uh, Dead City, and there's this one scene of uh, Negan and uh, Simon's come back. Uh, the guy who played Trevor in GTA, can't remember his name, but he's come back for a, uh, a section in the show, and it's when they were in the Saviors bit. And there's a lot of Savior-related things going on, like flashbacks. Um, and it just makes you think, like, Simon, the guy who plays Simon, is willing to come back to play Simon. How good would it be to just bring back all of them? Like, the show is so much better when it's focused on Negan and stuff. Like, he's just the highlight of it. I ain't watched it properly, but what I've seen, Negan is Dead City. It's about him. Maggie's just involved because of her kid. It could have just been Negan's show. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really want you. I might recruit you and kick you out. Because you have got... Some weapons. Yeah, I gave the lyrics to one of our bass players. The one with the tattoos. Or maybe the one with the snake. I'm glad you could help. For me, okay? Well, who fucking raped for us? <sighs> hey, Migo. Would you mind handling things for a while? Hi there. We've decided it's best for everyone if you leave. I wish I could say I expected better from you. I gave her a mask. Hi there. It's the least we've done. It's all yours. Alright. Is everything in the boot gone? Alright, I don't know what my plan is now. Um, don't know whether to attempt to see if she wants to be recruited or something. But I suppose we could come down here and loot up. Uh, like I said, if we focus on houses, we should get quite a bit of loot from it. Something must be wrong because I actually like it here. Really, if anything, I should, as soon as I'm done with the character, put every bullet we've got into the storage. And then that means we've got everything. A 
liar. I think we can do better with her outfit. Who is she? She ain't the new one. No, she ain't new, is she? Lumberjack. Killable, they kind of failed with that still. this bit. <laughs> it's so funny the fact that um, a few years ago you couldn't even do this. So many things in this game. Like that's the thing. I would love to play an original build of this game. I would love to somehow build play an original want to get caught by that feral. build of the game. Just to see how much it's changed, how it used to look and stuff. Would you really notice it too much? Just never know, do you? Something a bit brighter, yeah. Right, so what we got? Um, Tressy. I ain't really see what Tressy's doing lately. Let's see what I've she's doing. It. That's good to hear. Um. Maybe Molotovs would be good. Yeah, let's go see Trusty. I ain't seen her in a while. Maybe say take something quick. Got the boot. Got the doors. And I think it's night time. I can barely see.
Let's get a messy round base. Ah, controls. No control over the vehicle. this fucking fire station, even though she's got a home of her own. Hey, thanks for coming by. Come on in and I'll explain my plan. This place should put some empty shells back home. I need fresh samples to test a new theory. Can you provide backup? Before now, I've avoided the most overgrown areas because they're so dangerous. That's why I need you watching my back. Great. Sure. So, you up for helping me out? Oh, cool. I hope you're geared up. This one's gonna be a bit of an adventure. I hope I'm geared up. over the road now if it is if I get in the shit you done so I'm going I need to clear out the Zeds before I can get the samples I need <laughs> got a Zed coming in <laughs> Keep on your toes while I get my samples. I have to slow down. The uh, army guys used to call this area the gauntlet. Must have been pretty terrifying. And the walls were still alive. Sure. I wish it could make this torch a bit better. It's a bit pointless, isn't it? Doesn't make too much difference. <laughs> Why are you turn spinning around like that for? Oh. They're coming in from all over. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look so beautiful. promising either. Let me make sure, but I suspect I'll come up empty. I still think they should make heavy weapons yeah, indestructible. This one's a total bust. We need to keep moving. Am I the only one who's not on board with this? If there's drugs, I'm done, Tressie. We need to get as far into the gauntlet as we can. It won't be easy because the place is still crawling with zombies. But it stands to reason that a wall closer to the source could be more viable. The source of what? The source of whatever destroyed all of these walls. My breakthrough was recognizing how nature is aggressively reclaiming the dead walls. That's why I need samples from walls approaching the maximum state of decay. Haha, sure. <laughs> she said it. Yeah, 
she needs. I'll go stealth. Bloater over there. This place is like a maze. Easy to get lost in here. Fuck off. Can't do it. Really? No shit. Stupid Stupid woman. Look at how the controls and stuff they are on their own fucking mission. I'm just lowering the bloaters here. I don't care, trust me. Do what you need to do. Keep your eyes open. Last time I here. Last time I here, the game crushed on me. In There's the a screamer. All set to call his little friends. This ain't good. I ain't got... Wow. Let's see. Shots count. I hate the blood cloud, it's so stupid. Not down, that was like the third stagger. Switch weapon. 
time, bro. These controls today. Wasn't even up. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh fuck this trustee, fuck you. I'm going. Come on. Place has been it's not worth it. Fucking hell. I could have done that. It's fucking bullshit. You were great out here. Ready to head back? Sounds good. All right, let's move on before any more Zeds come around to say hi. You're in charge. Think a car, yeah. Ugh. Tracy, man. That was stressful. I could have dealt with that, but like, every fucking zombie had to come out. And instead of like switching to the Molotovs like I wanted, they just eating the fucking snacks that I had. I wasted like all of them. Well, the controls today have been really fucking weird. I have been playing Assassin's Creed today, so maybe that's just fucking me over a bit. My but. professors told me field work was challenging, but I don't think they had this in mind. Frustrating. You deal with it. Once again, you came through for me big time. I won't forget that. So what's next? Yeah, yeah use your gun now. Believe it, my friend. I hate having plague. It's so bullshit. Method with some science on top. And then that was one thing, like the bar, the blood play bar. Bar. I swear it wasn't even on there. You take care of yourself. You always messed up. I had a feeling I had some blood play because I was in the blood play cloud, but it wasn't even showing. Good to see you. I think it would have made much trade? difference. Okay, yeah. Really? Let's get you home. Yeah, no, press Y. Why you do this? Rip. Get back out of control. But yeah, I have finished uh, Assassin's Creed. Um, the last few episodes will be up. Um, so, the next episode on the channel, so not tomorrow Hello. but the day after. Episode 78? 
might as well just start we proper finish off there. like the main story stuff you and the last few quests you. like um but i think there's one more episode that i could do of um the fit like there's some extra stuff i need to do like the uh, chariot racing and everything um so i might end up doing that at some point um Got a horde outside, and we've got a sniper tower that no one is on. We can't just let them die here inside the base. It's not safe. Where is? Where's the lion gone? Oh, put her in there. I've got to get checked out. I'm feeling really off. Where is she? You were in the fucking thing. Where is she? I put you there so you were nearest to the bed. You're like on watch or something. Come on, game. What are you doing? Where is she? I need to fucking cure her, game. Have we got max people? Oh, a liar is busy. Bullshit. Busy doing what? Where is she? She's not in bed or anything. Oh, you know what? Get out. I want her to be cured. Okay, she's there. So we switch. This game today. I've got to get myself healthy. Might be just me. I think it's me. Has to be. It's fucking weird. It's just being aw like it's awkward more than anything today. Oh. Hey there. Let's try this. You might not be a goner just yet. If this works, I'm gonna hoe you. Cheers, Negan. Good lad. I'm back in fighting shape and ready to get to work. Bullshit. You wouldn't be in that position if you were in fighting shape. Uh, yeah, because I'm a retard. Right, um... Some bullets. We've got like no armor. Hey there, Trumbull Valley. It's your friendly neighborhood agricultural scientist again. You may have noticed some grass and weeds growing up from the ruins of the old plague walls. This does not mean that the wall debris is actually edible by humans. Please, don't become a cautionary tale for others to learn by. Yeah, I need a way to make bullets. That's a big issue right now. It'd be nice to find a way to reduce the cost of this, maybe. When we do start crafting. Um, 
anything, I could do some more outposts, so... And it would be good for when we have... Um... What do you call it? Uh, we could have a fuel outpost, ammo outpost, down here. Should we go and set up an ammo outpost before we finish? Yeah, why not? It's not too far. Once we have a few outposts set up, it should be easier to one, loot up, and two, just um, craft shit. Maybe visit her and see if she wants to join. Oh, that was the break one. You. Let's see what we have here. Sure, why not? Quite valuable. Get this outpost set up. this many cross That's your ability, grab them up front. I swear she could grab people up front. Close combat. Nice right, low level, that's why. What's the point, man? It's just fucking. I know I'm using guns, but it's like, there's no point to using guns if that's the case. It's exhausting. How are you locked onto me like that? today. Take your time to get your stamina back. No worries. I'll be 
I go around. Oh my god! I can't keep going so fast. Something's still lurking around. Why is this so exhausting today? I know I'm getting him to shit myself by brushing around, but... On this fucking outpost. That's I, I didn't want that. I fucking pressed the arrow to the switch and it didn't. <laughs> Press the D pad to switch and it just didn't register at all. I'll and it just instantly. I, I switched it because I was like, switch, then press the consume button. Yeah, definitely. But the game was like, no, we're not going to switch that. You're going to eat first. I don't know what fucking wrong with this today. I should be more careful. Nightmare. Well, I don't hear anything lurking about. I think the game de needs to reset. The outpost is looking good. I think the game's I like, oh we shit. You more. figured out how we're crashing the game. Let's fuck you over with the controls today instead. Piss you off in another way. I'd rather the game crash than it be like this. <laughs> I'm sure I can put this to good use. I don't know why I'm stressing out with it. It's so weird. It's like the past, past few episodes have been oh, really good. Not bad, I suppose. Where did you come from? That was like a kill animation, weren't it? Be still alive. Well, that was an uppercut where usually you. No. To be fair, a pistol might be better for her because she's got we've got like no shotgun shells. Maybe. You know what? Let's do it. That's not going to fit. I'm a little full at the moment. I don't think we're going to find anything else here. That was my fault. Some good news. The samples you helped me collect are exactly what I needed to finish this puzzle. I'm so glad I could be here to see this. I still have to double check my data, but I have a really positive feeling about this. I'll be in touch again soon. I am like brushing around, I don't know why. Don't like it. There is a point in the game where you do do that. Where instead of taking the time like I usually do or people would usually do. I see it in all different kinds of people's let's plays where at the beginning of the game people are really slow paced like you are. And then when you get to a certain point where Maybe you know that you've got a lot to do, but you want to just get on with it. You just start to rush around, and maybe that's what my mistakes are today. Maybe a silencer would be good for her. It'd encourage me to be a bit stealthier with her. 
She had like a shotgun and then and silence a AK. So really she's got no choice to be loud. And that might be messing her up. Uh, check the viewpoint. I don't think uh, I might have been up here. Nothing worth carrying out here. Oh yeah, there is a secret weapon. The weapon cache. That might still run. Could take it for a test drive. Maybe go check. I think that should do it for now. Let's <coughs> check this, but I think, yeah, over in that uh, warehouse section. Chug. Uh, I think there's like a yellow. What do they call it? Rare weapon case. I think it's over here. Or maybe not. Thought it was. I thought it was like on a trailer. I think it's on a... I thought it was, might not be. Whew. Glad that's taken care of. He's smart enough to climb up. No. Thought he would be smart enough to climb up. Let's see what we got. on the map I saw. Let me have a look at it actually. It's like a yellow crate. It's like, uh... Maybe it is here. Seems to be around here. Ah, 
Here, see? Aha. Uh -huh. Blunt. Head back to base. Yeah, they do miss the like truck that's uh, ploughed off the road. I think that's in the first game. But there should be a gap here, going down there, where a truck's gone off the road. So I think I remember. I think I remember. There's like a shortcut. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. It's been a bit of a stressful one, but hopefully next episode we can kind of reset and take a breather, maybe. But, um, yeah, not a bad day, but... At least one of us should be in... Let's look at my brother's duty locker again. His one of the stressful ones. might still ones. be out there. He'd want me to find her. Who's going to be first? You don't know me, but... I'd appreciate it if you'd come and hear me out. Hey, come here, will you? People, skills. For whatever it's worth, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can't agree. All right, have it your way. I would, but... Yeah, um, we're done here. Yeah, if she's got a chance of getting a brother here, I'd be more inclined to... At him if he's a police officer, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes in the next one. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd say the controls were fighting against me a bit today. I don't know why, maybe it's me rushing a little bit, but I don't know. I didn't feel like rushing at the beginning, but then the game just started to be a bit whacked out. Um, so hopefully, me backing out of the game and reloading in might help, but. It's been another day without crashing, me avoiding that warehouse and it's um, preventing any issues, so yeah. Um, but when I ever get around to looting that warehouse, it'll probably be one of the last things I do maybe. Or if I feel like, yeah, let's just go there and loot it, get it done, then we can avoid it. But um, Or unless I just rec loot that area off stream, might be worth it, maybe. Um, but yeah, next episode we'll just continue on and um, see how much we can do with um, the rest of the game, I guess. Um, we'll do a bit of looting, maybe do that brother thing to see. Because if we can have Whisperer's family connect in this series, that'll be good. Because we had it before. I think it was Drew and Wu, weren't it? Uh, I think Drew had his sister. Or oh, his sister found Drew, and then Drew found his wife, which is Wu, our partner. And Drew and Wu were like Dwight and Sherry from the Saviors. That was in our Savior series. Um, yeah, there's a, I, I like that sort of stuff. Like that's the thing I I always say. I wish there was more stuff related to the community, you know, where it's like. So you've got some cool missions where like, oh, someone's like, oh, my brother used to be a cop. I've got the keys to a locker or some shit. Something like that line or, um, oh, I, need, I used to know a drug dealer. He had all this drugs. Like that sort of stuff. 
I wish there was more of that, you know, or a community, like, they kind of contribute in a way, or I've always said, like, I miss, like, the days where, like, someone goes off, they run off, and they get stressed out with it all, but then you as a community member go out and find them and talk to them and relieve some stress by killing some zombies, that sort of stuff, I'm, like, it's a shame we don't have that sort of thing, I know that stuff was very repetitive in State of K one but it was like, it was your way to focus on your community in a way, like, your community was a priority over some guy, few people that want fun, demanding food from you every five seconds, or asking for fuel, and it's like, no, you're not my priority, if I have the time, I will help you, but like, the game should prioritise the community questing before then focusing on them sort of quest because realistically when they demand for food most of the enclaves in the game they just legit do that they just ask for stuff over and over again until you get to allyship and then you got cheaper stuff to trade um but then with the community there's not much gain like you do something for a community member because they want to go and do something. You might get a bit of loot out of it, but nothing really crazy. Unless, like, when it's a bit interesting, when, like, you go out and find your brother and you actually find him, or a friend of his. But when you find a character that actually shares the same second name as you, like, that's really cool to collect, in a way. Uh, and cool to come across and work towards and finding. And yeah, it's a bit frustrating, some elements of it, I guess. But um, but yeah, next episode, um, try and get some more looting in because we tried to do it today, but we kind of got sidetracked with questing. But that's the thing. I'm not in a rush to finish this series anyway. Like even though I feel like I need to slow down a bit, I don't know why I'm running around like an idiot because it's just getting me in the shit. And realistically, for the whisperers, I need to make them. I need to give them. Um more quiet weapons like even though i like the uh, use of assault rifles without silencers which i feel like i can still get away with in this playthrough but i feel like as our standing is getting higher and higher and there's more threats in the open world i need to have like that silence option um but, but we'll, we'll see we'll try and take our time next time and try and just get some loot in and i want to loot a bit more of uh marshall because I think once we loot Marshall, we can consider moving further up north or something. Um, but, yeah. If anything, it is what it is. We'll do what we want to do. I think if anything, we'll move from... I was always thinking about uh, the fort in Marshall, but I don't think that's a valid point now. Unless we start getting attacked by infestations and stuff. But, honestly... I know that's the thing with this series is because it's on a lower difficulty kind of with the map the whole infestation side of the game we're not really seeing properly which is a bit of a it's a bit of a down thing but I don't know maybe we need to wake up some of the play cards on purpose just to see how they operate um, and just yeah kind of learn it a bit more because really when we get into Nightmare and Lethal there's going to be a hell of a lot more play cards to deal with. And we are going to wake them up. And we are going to have to defend against them. Um, it's why I need to build up the C4 stockpile. Um, and probably I should start doing that next time. Um, just get as much C4 and everything as we can get. And just have it. You know, because when we when we move to Nightmare and Lethal, we're going to need it for the play cards. Because... There's going to be that many play guards to clear out, and um, yeah, it's just going to be one of them things to prioritize over everything else. But um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here for State of Gate 2, and we'll continue on with the Whisperers story in the next one. Uh, like I said, not tomorrow, but the day after episode 78, we finish off the main sort of story stretch for Assassin's Creed Origins. There's a little bit of side stuff to do. But we'll do that when we come back. But after when the next State of Decay video is up, so I don't know what episode it'll be. The next episode on State of Decay, so 
Not tomorrow, but the day after will be Assassin's Creed. The two days after that should be... Well... The videos after that would, would be State Decay. Um, that'll be it for this rotation. And then the rotation after that will be the new start. So it'll be Try and Fallout 4 and State Decay. So we'll be alternating with Fallout 4 and State Decay for a bit. Um, we'll see how Fallout 4 does after, I'd say, two or three rotations. Um, and if the crashing is stable, where it's not happening too much, we'll be fine. But say it's an issue, we'll scrap it. I think the audio will be fine. Like, we won't have the stuttering, I don't think. Um, but we've got a second chance for that series. And hopefully we can kind of push through it in a way. Because I want to play Fallout. I think it would be a great series to do. But I don't know. Like, it is very hit or miss if we continue it or not. If anything, we'll be back with Assassin's Creed and State of Decay. But hopefully we can alternate between the three at some point would be good, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But for today, as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.